What's up, Glory family? Welcome back to Crown and Glory Oracle. It's your girl, Lady Crown. And if you are just joining the broadcast, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Today, we're talking about false prophets. This has been coming to my head for the past couple of days, and I'm finally getting to sit down and explore what is going on because there are a lot of people being exposed, a lot of things unfolding, a lot of truths coming into fruition. And I don't like to know what is the origin and the energy surrounding this. And I felt the need to talk to y'all, my glory family, and look at the cards and see what they tell us in regards to this. So I'm praying and thanking God, my angels and my ancestors for divine grace, mercy, permission in this moment to explore the truth towards our highest good with purest intention to know what is unfolding in regards to these false prophets. Please allow us to see the truth in this moment and thank you for being with us in this space and allow us to see the truth as it needs to unfold. Amen. And I say, I'm just giving a quick shuffle y'all because I really would like to talk about this today. And there's a lot of things that go into what a false prophet represents, what they feed off of, what it is that they're trying to accomplish in this moment. So I'm calling upon spirit in this moment to please show us what we need to know in regards to this moment during this retrograde and going forward. What is it exactly that is surrounding the false prophets or false people that profess to be one thing, but the truth is unfolding and showing another amen and us say, Spirit, what is happening right now in regards to these false prophets? What do we need to understand and process in this moment? What do we need to see? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I want to start with the two chakras that come up, which is your crown chakra and your solar plexus. So this is very much so dealing with your spirit and your gut intuition, which is interesting that this showed up because also awareness comes into play. So oftentimes when it comes to these false prophets and people that will come into your space, into your life and will act as if they want to be there for you. The main thing that they want to attack is your crown because that's the highest level of understanding. That's the highest level of spiritual comprehension and elevation. And you have to be aware of these people because they come fast and they can present themselves to be something that they actually are not, okay? You have to go with your gut when it comes to this because your gut is going to tell you everything that you need to know and paying attention to those intuitive messages that come and allow you to understand what this person may present and what they may be. You have to be solely aware at all times because they're going to come at you at all sides, okay? Then we have the balance card, okay? And we also have the shadow. So this very much deals with being able to face some things about yourself because if you do not, this is how they're able to intercept and be able to compel you to think that they're going to be something that they actually are not, okay? And it has to be an equal balance of who you are and what you know about yourself and what it is that you're coming to understand in regards to who you are. And this is a very important thing to focus on, especially when it comes to these people, because they're going to, in this instance, they're going to be a mere reflection of what things you have not faced, and that is something that you have to pay attention to, because if you do not allow yourself to face certain things or come to terms with certain things, this is how they latch on. This is how they catch you. You have to be willing to choose wisely as well. And this is dealing with the matters of the heart. So a lot of times when it comes to these false prophets, they will know that there are certain unresolved issues or things that you need to face in regards to your journey, especially dealing with people that you're connected to and choosing the right direction is always imperative so that you can be able to soar and maneuver through any of these things that they will present to you in this manner. And you have to be patient. A lot of times false prophets will use the fact that you want to rush something to happen and come full circle where things are actually happening in this divine timing. And if you do not allow divine timing to basically control the paths and the directions that you take. This is how they're able to grab a hold and see what it is that you are lacking. Okay. We also have the root chakra. So there's some things that you may have to deal with when it comes to coming to terms with certain things, getting to the root of things. If you don't deal with the root of what is going on, if you're not paying attention to your gut and not protecting your crown chakra or strengthening it, that's how they're able to get you. That's what their goal is. They want to attack you at all sides. They want to make sure they can get you, especially in the spiritual aspect, because that's your highest level of knowledge and comprehension and understanding. That is what the false prophets will do. 
that's what the false person will do. This is regarding false prophets, false friends, anything surrounding that nature. And you have to be very mindful of these people when they come to you, when they seek you out, when they are able to compel you to believe that they are something that they are not. And it also deals with a darker part of yourself things that you have to be able to embrace so that they cannot latch on to you so quickly. What exactly is a false prophet or false spirit or false person looking to do when it comes to what it is that they want from people? Divine spirit, please allow us to see that in this moment. Amen. And I say, something, they know that you're scared. They know that you're scared. They know that there's something that you either don't want to deal with or a reality that you don't want to face. And this is how they're able to compel you. This is another thing that they use to fortify what it is they're trying to accomplish. Okay. What else do you got, Spirit? They will manipulate you and use fear. That actually gives them more fuel and more power. That actually gives them more energy. That's exactly what it does. What else do we need to know, Spirit? That's interesting that that number jumped right, that car jumped right out. That was very interesting. Boom. They want victory over you because that's the only way that they can feel powerful. They won't tap into themselves and look for what they need. They're going to get it from you. So their idea of if they're able to captivate you or get you to surrender to certain things, that they are able to have victory and success over you because they're using fear to manipulate you. Their throat chakra. They're going to speak to you in a way that is going to sound like something that is going to give you comfort or solace, but that's not what they're here for. They're utilizing the energy surrounding this to you be able to speak truth into your own existence, and they're going to try to manipulate you again through fear. There's mental conflict. They know that there's something that is battling within you. And they will use this at all sides. They will know that you are able to not fully see yourself in this moment. Mental conflict has to deal with the fact that there's either something you need to see about a situation that you are in or something that you need to see in regards to yourself, which is why the shadow card showed up before. And that's something that you also need to be mindful of. The waiting game. Patience. What did we talk about? Patience. OK, and this is dealing with your third eye being able to see things. They know that there's something that you want to happen quick. You see how the roots are at the bottom of this card. They know that there's something that they that you want to happen, that there are certain things that you have not dealt with. And that's how they're able to manipulate you because they want some kind of prosperity. And the only way they feel that they can get it is if they are able to manipulate you and connive you and deceive you. And again, fulfillment of wishes. They know that there's something that is coming to you as well. They know that they can, they are able to sense that there's something about you that is different from the rest. They know that there's something that you want and it's just a matter of timing. But if you're not willing to be patient and wait for it, they'll be able to manipulate you in mul multiple different ways. And that's where the problems arise in. Okay. What else we got, Spirit? What else do we need to know in regards to these false prophets? Because we already know that they are utilizing people not wanting to be patient and just wait for divine time. And we know that they are utilizing fear to manipulate and captivate people, making false promises, okay? Thinking that even if they are able to somehow be in their life, that there's something that they can grant them, where in fact, there's not nothing that they can do for them. It's what they're trying to do for themselves. They can see the blessings that are on the way to you and are doing what they can to try to stop it because they want it for themselves. False prophets, false friends, false spirits. Mm, mm, mm. Again, choose wisely. Needed to push forward. Yep. Even if you've been in any way manipulated by a false spirit, false prophet, false person, you still have the ability to choose. Some of you are in a space where you have the ability to choose and still make another decision, go a different way. You don't have to stay on this path because the moving on card comes up. You are in the space where you are able to push forward past what this person has tried to do in order to manipulate you. And you can push forward going from that because there's some harmony. There's another type of energy that's going to be coming to you very soon and is going to allow you to be back in sync with yourself as well as being in sync with other people. But the only way to do that, again, you have to deal with with your base chakra, your root. You have to be in tune with the reality of where things are. Spiritual union, people coming together. 
That's another thing that the false prophet doesn't want. It doesn't want people to come together and realize who they are and what they are. Many people refer to this as what they would say, like an antichrist type of spirit or again, referring to a false prophet because the foundation and achievements is already there and there's still hope for you. And they don't see these things in themselves. That's why they are able to seek their way in and seek people out and try to manipulate folks into believing that they are one way when they are indeed another. My, my glory family, you guys have to be mindful of these people because they are running amok. And as each day passes and the world is continuing to go in different ways, they will continue to try to captivate you and grab your attention and you have to watch them. You will see them coming. You must strengthen your crown. You must strengthen your third eye. You must pay attention to your intuition because if you don't, they will indeed try to get you. They will indeed try to suck all the energy out of you that is required for you to get those blessings that you're looking for, the closure and the peace that you are trying to have. And they will use it to manipulate it, to get it for themselves and make them feel more superior divine spirit. What else do we need to know in regards to these false prophet spirits and people? May these messages be intended towards our highest good. Hmm. They sure want to steal your happiness. They want to steal your joy. Mm -hmm. They definitely want that. At this point, once you start to pick up on that, you must surrender. You must be you must be willing to release the energy that comes with that and do whatever you need to do spiritually and divinely in order to proceed and go forward. You must surrender when this happens. You have to surrender this in order to be renewed and be able to start and go down that path that you need to go on. Okay? Regret. Regret. You cannot change what has happened. You cannot undo what has already transpired because they've already they've already been able to get away with certain things but now that you are picking up on it you have to be willing to stand fast and you have to be willing to stay strong in your foundation and even though there is regret there you have to be willing to let that go so that they not they cannot continue to feed off of your energy okay you got to be willing to see things on the lighter side. You cannot hold on to this. You cannot be manipulated by fear. You will persevere from this. But once again, you see these people coming. Once you see them coming, if you in any way allowed them to be around you, it's okay. This is now the wake up call for you to realize that there are false people and energies that are around you and you are going to be able to persevere. But it takes that self work first before that hold can be released from you. Okay. Judgment will come. Understand that. Anyone that comes to you and they profess to be a person that is being divinely guided through either sent from God or whatever they claim their higher power is to be, just know that judgment will befall them and it will reign in your favor. But you have to understand that um, even in the midst of judgment, there are some challenges and things that you have to acknowledge that you have been through. You have to be willing to accept that reality and continue to push forward, even though that judgment is definitely coming. Because anyone that falsely professes that they are there for your betterment, that they're going to help you see things differently, that they're going to help you be more empowered when in that whole space in time. They are just merely using that as a means to seep themselves in because they see that you are a person of purpose, that you do have purpose. They can tell that times that you're very lonely and they will use that as well. And they know that you have the ability to succeed and that's why they latch onto you so much. Divine Spirit, what is the conclusion of this? What is the concluding message that needs to be for the Glory family in this moment? Please allow me to see what needs to be known in regards to how they should handle being in the midst of false prophets. Once they break free from that hold of being amongst false prophets, false people, false spirits, and they let that go, what will be the conclusion, Divine Spirit? Thank you for all that you've shown us thus far. Amen. And I say... Y'all gotta understand they are they are running wild, okay? They are running wild. 
they're presenting themselves as one thing. I'm telling you, once you start to strengthen your spirit and your mind, there'll be certain people you won't be able to listen to anymore. There'll be certain people you won't be able to look at. There'll be certain things that you will feel when you come into these people's space and areas because your body's going to tell it. Please pay attention to all the sacred points and areas of yourself because you will feel it and you will know it. Okay, I'm telling you this from what I've seen and what I know. You will be able to see, know, and feel who and what they are. But you must strengthen your root chakra. You must deal with your shadow self. You must strengthen your crown. You must protect your crown. And you must be willing to see things for what they are. Okay. Tolerance. What were we just talking about? Once you come and realize who these people are, you will not be able to tolerate them. You will not be able to stand them. The mere presence of their energy will disturb you in all different kinds of ways. And I mean all different kinds of ways. It'll affect the way you move. It will affect your appetite. It may affect different parts of you. But once you are aware that these people are not who they say they are, and you begin to believe them and see them for who they are, your tolerance is going to be next to nothing okay this is the point where you are in the midst of alchemy and you have to make choices and these choices are very imperative as to whether or not these false spirits prophets and people will be able to continue to have that hold and manipulate you okay because now once you break free from that you are now in the space of resurrection being able to be reborn the goddess yamaya is a person of rebirth and awakening and seeing things for what they are. So once you are able to see past this space and see past this moment, you will be able to be renewed and restored again. And this will definitely be a part of your legacy, your um, your lineage and what lessons you teach to either upcoming generations or people that you may come into contact with. Because whatever you went through is going to serve a purpose and help to guide others in the right direction. Your song in your heart is going to sing a different tune where there was sorrow, where there was sadness, where there was anger, you will be able to see things a lot more differently and you'll begin to feel better and you'll be able to have harmony. We focus focused on harmony other things being in sync and being aligned. Autonomy, closure, being able to stand within your power, being able to see past the things that people want you to know and you'll see all that you need to know. And you have the key to unlock this door, okay? You have the key. You possess the key to be able to maneuver past this moment and be able to see things differently. Is there anything else we need to know? <laughs> Going through transformation. A lot of times a false spirit, false prophet, false person will be able to see that you are trying to change yourself for the better. And that's another thing that they will latch onto. But once you see them, you'll be able to be reborn and restored again. The key is to break free and to change. The key is to understand what your purpose is and know who you are as a person and not letting anyone manipulate you or connive you into believing anything other. That's another tactic they will use. They will use the fact that you want to be the best version of yourself, but you cannot rush the process. You can't. You cannot rush this process. You cannot rush the outcome. You must You must allow things to happen as they are happening. Trying to speed up something means you can either lose sight of what you're supposed to learn, a lesson that you're supposed to perceive. And this is a perfect time to tell yourself that you loved yourself. Future love letter came up to poked right out in the deck. It's about time that you start loving on yourself more so that these people can no longer manipulate you and come into your space. You must do these things in order to reign supreme over these false spirits, prophets, and people. Otherwise, they'll be able to interrupt the progress that you are making. They will interrupt the way you think and the way you see and the way you feel. Please heed this advice, okay? Because that's another thing that they will tap into. They will tap into the fact that there are certain parts of yourself that you have neglected for a long time. And they will pretend that they can fill that space and they cannot. They're only there to take whatever you have left within you. Your spiritual, physical, emotional battery. They will drain it dry, but you cannot let them.
Anything else, Divine Spirit, or are we coming to a close? I think that's all I'm supposed to tell y'all right now. Mm. Yep, I think that's all. More of the story. And this is the top card that's here. Do not allow chaos and confusion to take you off balance with these false prophets, spirits, and people. Shift that energy and work through yourself and work for yourself. That way, no one can feel as if they have to do the job for you. That's all, my glory family. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to book a private reading, please feel free to hop down in the description box and hit the link so that you can book a personal reading with Crowning Glory Oracle. I am Lady Crown, and this has been another fulfilling reading. Please be prosperous, protected in all your things that you do. And all means, by all means, love yourself and pay attention. Bye, Glory family. Mm -hmm.